Hey. Drinking a porter. A Dundee porter. All right. How do I create a 1500UF35V non-polarized NP bipolar? They don't sell 1500UF NPs, at least none that I can afford. So there's only one way of doing it. You go get some inexpensive uh, 3300 UF 35 V's. These are uh, multi comps. And I'm using my Atlas uh, ESR 60 tester here. And so I tested all of them. I got all, I bought a whole bag of them. And uh, when you buy them in quantity like that, I think I got them for like 50 cents a piece. So I tested them all, and they all test out somewhere between. Uh, Let's see, 3067 and uh, 3121. Uh, so it's supposed to be 3300s plus or minus 10%. So that's within the range. And they all test it out at an ESR of 0 0.02, which is fine. So they're all good. Um, and here's the deal, okay? If I put one of these in, my ESR tester, it's going to come in at one of these numbers, probably 3080, okay? Now, when I wire, when I pick two of them, and I solder them together, negative to negative, and of course that is the negative side. So if I solder that negative to that negative, like I've done on all these pairs here already. Now what I've got is because the negatives are together, one is going forward, one is going backwards. So I've become basically a non-polar NP bipolar capacitor. And by putting two 3300s together, or actually closer to 3100, if you take 3100 divided by 2, which is what you're doing here by putting them like this, here's what you get. This one is 1550 UF. And the ESR now jumps up to 0.06. No big deal on the ESR. It's still really low and just fine. So that is what you do. Um, I find that just by sticking them into some flux, that helps me when I put these two together like this. It just kind of sucks them together. Heat them up. Solder them. I'm just using your basic uh, no clean uh, 60-40 solder and uh, you need two of these for every uh, Seberg SHP amplifier so I'll be making sets for four here and I certainly can use them all alright so for 50 cents a piece or a dollar or two dollars for two dollars you can replace the non-polarized capacitors in your SHP amplifier and I, uh, I strongly suggest you do that those old ones are old and leaky